Hello, everybody. I'm Nixie Noctis from Deface Games. We are back again with our latest list of handpicked top 10 best Android games to play in April 2021. All of these titles are downloadable at the Play Store, and for your ease, we have given all of the links in the description below. Without further ado, let's start with our first pick. The first game we have today is League of Legends Wild Rift. Yes, finally one of the most anticipated MOBA titles of the year. The League makes its appearance on Android. For those who don't know, it is a 5v5 multiplayer online battle arena mobile game. The game is a modified version of the very popular PC mobile game League of Legends. In the game, players compete in matches, lasting anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes on average. Core gameplay requires players working together to destroy a structure called the Nexus in the enemy team's base, bypassing a line of defensive structures called turrets. As of now, there are 40 playable champions to show off your style. You start the game with level 1 and no items, and during the match you can gain experience to level up and purchase items to power up your champion. Not just for the month, it's the play pick of the year. The next game we have is Plant the World. Plant the World is a multiplayer game where you can move around and grow trees on the real world map. You can navigate the map using in-game joystick or your phone's GPS location. You can collect resources by exploring your neighborhood and use them to craft potions and coax animals. There are over 50 species of trees you can choose to decorate your land. Along with trees, you can also place decorations and strategic buildings to conquer areas of the map. You can also visit and travel to other cities and countries and view other players' kingdoms by using vehicles, boats, teleportation portals, or form alliances with other players to trade and defend your land. Do give this one a shot, okay? The next title on the list, Crash Bandicoot on the Run. Crash Bandicoot on the Run is an endless runner game where you can control Crash and Coco while running, jumping, spinning, and smashing in lanes loaded with obstacles. In-game, you run through mysterious lands, defeating the henchmen of Dr. Neocortex. You can customize Crash and Coco with skins, build an arsenal of stupendous weapons, and hone your running skills for rewards. As you explore the game, you'll unlock skins that give extra trophies, bonuses, modifiers, and even an Aku Aku mask. You can also collect resources that are used to build high-tech labs where you can make weapons such as nitro bombs and frosty ray guns. Old-time Crash Bandicoot fans will surely enjoy this one. The next game I have, Cats in Time. Cats in Time is a relaxing puzzle game where you have to solve various puzzles in order to find the trapped cat. The game's plot is that somehow the cats activated Professor Tim Edge's time machine, and now they are lost in time and space. So, your mission is to save all of the trapped cats. There are more than 200 cats that you must find. The game features six distinctive locations set in different ages. So, you can travel from ancient Egypt all the way to the streets of late 20th century New York, and even to the future, Tokyo. The first two ages are free to play, and for more, you have to buy the full version. So, do play the first ones and see if you like it. Cats in Time. Alright, next on the list is Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. This is the remastered version of a mega hit fantasy RPG game, Final Fantasy VIII. This remastered version features multiple enhancements, including additional options to customize your gameplay experience and difficulty. Players control three members to form a party to take on enemies. In this game, instead of leveling up to learn new spells and abilities via weapons or a job class, the player must draw the spells from enemies and draw points. Hotspots scattered throughout the game containing a random number of a specific spell or create them from items. With the remastered version, players can also choose to proceed through the game at three times speed. For millions of Final Fantasy fans, just like me, this is especially a treat. The next game we have is Giant Dancing Plushies. Alright, this one sounds really cute, huh? Giant Dancing Plushies is a light rhythm game rooted in the joy of simply dancing where you help your adorable peculiar music lovers kaiju to conquer the planet while dancing. 
you can unlock giant plushies, upgrade them with abilities, and make them unstoppable. You can play fast missions or complete in infinite levels to get rewards, unlock places to go, get the resources to improve your deadly weapons of mass cuteness. You can dance with the in-game music or play it with any music source. Simply put, if you love dancing, this one's definitely a fun one to try. The next game on the list is Blade and Soul Revolution. Blade and Soul Revolution is a fantasy martial arts MMO RPG game where you can wind walk across sky, land, water, and soar through the massive open world map. The campaign sees you seeking vengeance against Jin Soyun, a bad guy who killed your master. In game, you can master and hone each character's skill set and create custom combo attacks. You can also join the faction wars with up to 500 players on each server. It's a highly cinematic, graphically sophisticated game that features martial arts, revenge missions, and all that good stuff. For everyone who needs some strong action and story, this one is a great game. Next on the list is Purea. Purea is a collection of arcade minigames that play with just two buttons. Every 10 seconds, the game will jump from one random minigame to another. There are several minigames, including 2D platforming, retro galaxy shooting, endless running, sports, vehicles, animals, and pachinko. While playing, you can collect as many marbles as you can and use them in the pachinko machine to unlock new minigames, music, and skins, or challenge each of its 30 minigames individually to aim for a high score. The only way to get marbles is by playing the minigames. There are no ad rewards or in-app purchases, just a pure fun arcade game. The next game on our list is Invictus Lost Soul. Invictus Lost Soul is a fighting game in which you can control your warriors using decks of cards. All of the fights in game are played one to one. In game, you can travel through different dimensions in the search of terrible Damon to revenge him for infinite deaths you suffer along the way. The outcome of your fights rely on your cards, and each of them represents strike, block, or another move. You can upgrade cards and experiment with the deck to make unique card combinations. You can also equip and enhance your weapons and armor and look for more powerful ones in other realms. And the last game we have today is Puzzle Heist. Puzzle Heist is a free action RPG game with match three battles containing puzzles with high octane car races. Full of licensed cars including Porsche, Lotus, Subaru, and Mazda, you can recruit from a huge selection of crew members, each with unique skills, strengths, and weaknesses. You can also train and strengthen their abilities. You can fight against real players from around the world in PvP mode and grab their loot. Players can team up to form an alliance to take down powerful kingpins and participate in massive 30v30 turf wars. And we wrap up our video list this month. If you have any suggestions for us, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to us for more cool videos like these in the future. See you next time! <laughs>